Well, good morning, you faithful few. It's day three of the 18th ever backpacking endeavor, AHT edition. Got a nice warm oatmeal breakfast this morning. <laughs> it's 8.13 in the morning, pretty much packed up. Got 6.8 miles today to the truck. Had a DNR guy stop by and ask if we were doing all right. Think we look like vagrants and vagabonds here. All right, check back in, then we're on trail. Here we go. Getting back on the little spur trail that takes us down to the AHT. We're on the move with overcast skies, about 50 degrees. Light and variable winds from the northwest. I don't know, I just made that up. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> Yeah, we walked right by here yesterday. I didn't even notice. The trail went off this way, back into the woods. I don't know if I uh, got any of these before, but they got these little white markers every now and again. Got 17 miles there. I'm not sure 17 miles from what, but we have seen those multiple times. Man, I like the rocky look and the kind of dark feel in this part of the trail. This is pretty cool. Reminds me of like a Lord of the Rings type of trail. And I have to say that my love of like fantasy books and stuff, I'd say very much contributes to my desire to be out here in this, doing something like this. Never really gave that much thought, but I think that has a lot to do with it. Being out with friends, companions, on an adventure. Just, you know, minus the orcs and trolls and giants and such. And then, to get to share that with the kiddos, I don't know, means a lot to me. Well, that really takes leave no trace to another level. Big old five gallon bucket and a wheelbarrow. Okay. Her mom's sister has an itch. <laughs> when you itch sissy's back for she can't reach it. I can, it's like this entire back area. So I pulled out the camera to get that cool little thing back there. <laughs> Sissy's taking her back off for a scratch. I, it's been bothering me for like the past half mile. Just can't make this stuff up. That's why you bring the camera. We have our first report of a sprinkle. Our mountain sister noticed one. I haven't felt any yet. Okay, in the episode Half a Life, what was the name of the researcher who fell in love with Luoxana Troy but had to go back home to die because he was too old? Uh, I can picture that that would go down. I don't know, Billy. Ooh, close. It's not Billy, it's Timison. Name the main nemesis of the Federation in Star Trek The Next Generation who are basically zombie cyborgs. The Borg! Good job. Any other Trek nerds out there like me? Well, we've got a cool stop here, so we're thinking about taking our break here. Although it's a little early, we're at 2.99 miles. Mm -hmm. 
there he goes. First break on the bluff over the Blue River is done. That one we kind of stopped short because that was uh, only three miles in. We were shooting for 3.4 before our first break, but just being flexible. And the views continue. But so does the uphill climb. And so does the rain. It's sprinkling just a little bit. Not really enough to get our rain stuff out yet, but you can definitely hear it on the leaves. Looks like an unofficial campsite up here. Interesting. Well, about 0.1 miles after our break over the Blue River Overlook thingy there, eh, it started raining. And it rained for the next mile and a half or so. Just enough to get us all soaked, make me put the gear, camera gear away. I hope it's all working. Is the audio okay? Poor Rugged Mountain Mister looks like he just stepped out of the shower. And Rugged Mountain Sister had just taken her long sleeves off. So now she's wet in 50 degrees. Oh, I'm not wet. a song that I was singing? No. Ah, 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 we're gonna die. Well, that was one of them. <laughs> but the other one was, ah, er, I hate wet rocks and I cannot lie. Wet roots and I can't deny. <laughs> well, we're trying to get to the Rendezvous point. That would mean we kind of completed the loop. And then we just have the little 1.7 mile spur trail back to the truck. All right, here we are, the Ren Desvus Point. See how we came here? And you can go that way, and you can go that way. We went uh, that way, which means we go this way. 1.7 miles left, Georgies. I think Rugged Mount Mister is giving me some signs which way they went. Thanks, mister. <laughs> Might have got lost. Man, it's starting to spit a little again. Hope it doesn't rain on the way out or loading the truck back up. Rugged Mountain Sister has started her push to the end. I probably won't see her till the trailhead. Yeah. Gotta navigate around these blowdowns again. another blow down expertly maneuvered by rugged mountain mister still navigating the blow downs and another of the adventure.
Well, you faithful few, we've come to the end of the 18th ever Backpacking Endeavor AHT edition. It ended up being 29 miles. We averaged 2.2 miles per hour. Just took us, you know, three days to do. Everything went great. The planning worked out, the drops worked out. We gotta go around and pick everything up. But uh, yeah, that's the end of our adventure. Hey, we just wanna thank you all so much for watching. And you all, have, have a great day. day. <laughs> I